Alright. Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel. My name is Miguel Fuentes and today we're gonna get uh we're gonna be um uh, doing a teaching on the family of the sunfish and um and hopefully you guys will enjoy this uh teaching or lecture, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, I'm going to be using uh, Wikipedia as a, uh, almost a little bit like a guide, but not not really, sort of, but you'll see. But, uh, but before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first, amen? Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Father, Lord. You are holy, mighty, worthy to be praised, Father. We just ask that you would uh, help us, Lord, to understand about your creation and about your will and father we just thank you lord for the creation of fish lord and there, there's so many species of fish in in the wild lord that we we rejoice of how beautiful your creation has been we thank you lord for your love thank you lord for your peace we praise you we glorify you lord in jesus name we pray amen and amen Alright, so I just came back from work, and I'm ready to teach. So the family of sunfish is a uh, freshwater uh, ray finned fish belonging to the order of uh, Perchamish, if I pronounce it right, which means uh, perch-like. Um, it's uh, native only to North America, and there are at least eight genus to this family we got the lipomus which is our the true sunfish we got the black bass the crappies the banded sunfish um uh, we got uh a sacramento perch we got rock basses we got mud uh, mud sunfish now, all these things are a part of the family of the of the sunfish and uh, the, there's only 34 uh, species that are, are exist right now uh, it includes many popular game fishes familiar to North North America uh, anglers such as rock bass largemouths Bluegills, pumpkin seed, green sunfish, and crappies. Uh, most sunfish are highly valued panfish for sp sport fishing, and I've been, I'm sorry, have been introduced in many areas outside of their native range. Sun, uh, sometimes becoming invasive species. So that that you know, if you don't know. Uh, invasive species is just a way uh, they 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 do not belong to a a particular habitat, and basically uh, they're going to wipe out most of the population very very quickly if we cannot control them, you know, by the numbers. So, uh, mostly these fish can be found in lakes, ponds, medium to low flow streams and rivers and swamps. Um, and it's very, very interesting really because, you know, a lot of my fishing videos, I've been catching a lot of bluegills. Um, you know, once in a while, a bass, uh, sorry, large, large mouth bass, sometimes a perch, sometimes I may catch uh, pumpkin seed, some fish, sometimes I may catch uh, shark crackers. But there, there's a lot of diversity when, when it comes to uh, creeks and rivers. And uh, in, in my experience, you know, as a, uh, as a fisherman and a zoologist, you know, the, the, the fish species are very, very diverse uh, and very, very interesting. Um, so, uh, for that being said, um, they are ectothermous, which means that they are cold-blooded 
and they use the water temperature at either for warmth during the winter or cooler during the summertime and so depending on on what kind of weather it is you know like for for North Carolina it may be very from winter to winter or to, to summer to summer you know uh, last year I caught a lot of fish during the winter because the water temperature has been above 50 degrees but during this winter I have not been catching a lot of fish than usual because of lots of rain and the water's kind of cold and, and all these things but I know for a fact that spring is coming so that the water temperature will will rise so that the uh, so that the fish met, uh, metabolism would uh, increase and uh, beginning of the spawn and, and all this stuff <clears throat> that being said, uh, most species of fish um, have different breeding seasons. Uh, for example, like the bluegills or any other small sunfish would breed between, I would say, April to the end of uh, November around that time. To breed every month during the full moon, so um, which is pretty, pretty interesting. So the majority of the time, we're going to be talking about the classification of this family, starting out with this, or I should start with this. Let's see here. Let me hover over this. Alright, so this is a mud sunfish. As you can see, it looks different. It, it has some you know spots and some some stripes into it. You know, it, it looks very, very different. Uh usually you find this in freshwater in the Atlantic coast, ranging from uh New York to Alabama. And this is the only species of this genus. Next, we got the filer. Uh, now, the filer is a pretty, pretty interesting fish. You know, they, it looks like a bluegill, but it's not a bluegill. You know, has so many uh, spots and why they call them a uh, filer because of their anal fins. It looks like a fan. Uh, and this is the only species in this genus. Alright. Next, we got the uh, black banded sunfish. And um, very, very interesting. Next, we got the blue spotted sunfish, which is the most beautiful sunfish that you can. That you can have. Uh, it only found in native to southeastern and eastern United States, as far north as New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and as far south to New York. Uh, very, very beautiful fish. Next, we got the banded sunfish. Uh, it only goes two to three inches long. Next, we got the genus of uh, crappies. Uh, now, there are only two species of crappies in the wild today. We got the white crappie. Look like a you know the the difference between the black and uh in the uh, in the black and the white is the is the uh, the up uh, the partial fin you know. And uh, white copies are, are very, very beautiful. They're also called uh, golden rings or silver perch, white perch, um, so, you know, such and such. But they are different from the uh, black copies that are in, that we have in North, North America. 
They're, they look similar, but they're different. You know, they're really, really different. So we got a black coffee. We got the Sacramento perch is a endangered sunfish native to uh, native to uh, Sacramento in the River Delta over there. Now we we'll move on to the genus of the rock basses, the shadow bass, uh, which you can find in southeastern United States. Next we got the rock bass. Um, you know that that's that's I think that's one of my bucket lists to catch. I, I really want to catch a rock bass and. Um, and I'm mad to go to Tennessee or, or or somewhere in that nature to catch that species and add that to my bucket list. All right, next we got the Roanoke bass. Uh, you can find this uh, only in the states of Virginia and North Carolina. So I may have to go to the Roanoke River. Um, to catch these uh, Roanoke bass, you know. Next, we got the Ozark bass. Um, is it is native only to the White River, Sac River, James River, uh, you know, Missouri and, and Arkansas. They also called it the uh, googly eyes. For some reason. Alright, we're moving down to the black basses. Okay, these are very, very interesting. We got the smallmouth bass, which is like almost like a brownish color with some stripes, uh, and their mouth is not that big, which is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, I've seen a lot of fishermen catching these ones, and uh, I think I think I can, you know, you can find this in the uh, temperate zones of North North America. So next we get this spotted bass. Sometimes sometimes they call it spotty or spots. Um, these are different, even though they look similar from the largemouth, but they're very very different. Uh, they have more darker spots below the lateral line than any, than anything else, and um, very very interesting fish, you know. Um, but yeah, so they they're a bit different from the largemouth. Next, we have the shoal bass. The shoal bass is. Uh, you know, they they only found native to Florida and Georgia. And they also found in rivers and streams of East Alabama where it declared you know endangered. So next we got the red eye bass. So I time to call it red eye. And they only found in the Costa River system of Georgia and Alabama found in a cool stream and river in the foothills of, of mountains so you may find those. Next we got the Swahili uh, bass. Uh, this is this species of fish is just native to two river systems in Florida and Georgia and been introduced somewhere else as well. Uh, you know, I like the colors of that because you know it has that darkish uh, stripes there and they're kind of they're kind of beautiful animals. All right. Next, the Guadalupe bass is a rare species of fish endemic to the U.S. state of Texas, where it also is the official state fish. Okay, 
is it restricted to creeks and rivers and is listed as near threatened and uh and today, you know, that's why it's so important to practice catch and release because we want to preserve the species. You know, we don't want to uh, make them extinct, you know. And uh, they, they want to improve their fish, their uh, fish populations. Uh, you know, drag me in. And, and basically, I really love those colors, you know. All right, next, the largemouth bass is a carnivorous freshwater raven fish, native to eastern and central USA, southeastern Canada, and northern Mexico. It is known by various of regional names: wide mouth bass, big mouth bass, black bass, you name it. Um, and they get pretty big, you know. Uh, some some in a uh, uh, double digits, you know. I, I catch a few bass once in a while, you know, and uh, when they are passing by during the fall, and man, it, it, it you know they, they they put up a good fight. They put up a good fight, um, and I like the the coloring of of the uh, the bass as well. All right, next, next we got the Florida bass, and this is the only bass that is found in the southeastern United States, mostly from Florida. All right, so that's the genus of the black basses. Lastly, for not least, the Lopomus, the true sunfish family, or or genus rather. So first off, we got the orange spotted sunfish uh which is, which is found in um uh, middle and eastern United States from the Rocky Mountains to the east and from the Great Lakes south to the Gulf of you know the the Gulf Coast. Okay. As you can see they have uh orange spots and orange, you know, almost like a uh, like lightning lines there on their face and red eyes. All right, next is a bluegill. Uh, bluegills are the most common species that I always, that I always catch. Um, there are a subspecies called the copper nose bluegill, which is pretty pretty big I tell you um, hand sized fish you can find these in uh, in strange rivers lakes ponds wetlands east of the Rocky Mountains they're you know if, if they're big they're, they they fight pretty good when they're I would say if they're five inches and above that they fight pretty good with a very um, uh, light weighted line like uh, I'm gonna say between two to uh, ten pound test line so they're 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 pretty good fighters next we got the war mouth uh, found in throughout the eastern United States very very beautiful fish next we got the bantam sunfish yeah, this um, this found in Louisiana, an extreme southeastern Texas and southern Arkansas, and a few places in western Kentucky and western Tennessee. Very, very interesting. Next, we got the green sunfish. Is a species of aggressive freshwater fish, you know, a, a popular panfish with anglers. Um, you can keep it as a, a aquarium fish by hobbyists. 
they needed a 55 to 75 gallon tank can be fed minnows and mealworms and stuff like that next we got the red brush sunfish now I do catch these sunfish a lot uh, during the fall um, but man that they, they are aggressive I tell you they are aggressive and they pull hard and I love the colors of these fish that they have almost like a orangey orangey reddish uh, breast and they got a elongated ear, ear flap and also they have a beautiful uh, almost like a electric blue uh, thunder line in their faces um, and they have like maybe red spots over their body just that that's a pretty beautiful fish I think this is like the second most beautiful fish that I ever caught okay next we have the dollar sunfish these fish are very, very interesting fish um, they're, they're they're pretty small you know I've kind of rarely see them but it's they're there oh they're there um, let me see here next we got the northern sunfish which you can find this in the northern parts of the United States um, so yeah Uh, now this is a this is the uh, long ear sunfish. Yeah, this is one of the most beautiful fish amongst this genus. Um, you can look up the pictures of a long ear sunfish, and you've seen the beauty um, of these patterns that this fish has. You know, you can find this in Eastern. North America stretching from the Great Lakes to down to northeastern uh, Mexico. Uh, their maximum record length is about 9.4 inches, which is pretty big for, for this species. And hopefully, I can go down to like Louisiana or, or somewhere that they have long ears that I can go fish for, fish for them and take pictures. All right, next. Is the pumpkin seed sunfish. Sometimes they call it a uh, common sunfish. Some call it uh, pond, pond perch. Uh, I think this is like the third beautiful species of fish. I caught a few of them uh, last year. And they are beautiful, you know, they have electric blue uh, stripes on their faces. They have almost like a reddish ear tip to it. And they have like many like orange, orangey dots or spots along their, their body. It's one of the most beautiful fish that I ever caught. Hopefully I can catch some more this year. Um, hopefully there are oh, other species of fish or oh, some fish that I did not catch last year I'll make hopefully I can catch it this year next we have the red ear sunfish sometimes they call it a, a shell cracker Georgia brim cherry gill improved brim uh, sun perch and I did caught a few of these, uh, but they don't have that that um, that uh, what it called that uh, almost like a red ear, but more like a white than a red. So it might be a female, but I'm not sure. But it's they 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 are a pretty good fight. I tell you, they put on a, you know, a powerful show, as they say. Um, 
Next, we got the uh, the spotted sunfish. And uh, beautiful, beautiful fish. And then lastly, the red spotted sunfish. Um, these can be found in the United States. So, yeah, that's the whole family of the true, uh, the, uh, the sunfish family. So I hope you enjoy this video as I do. You know, it's been a blessing. And so next week we're gonna get in and we're going to get into a new Bible study series. We're gonna get into this to the book of Second Baruch. And I am excited. So may God bless you, may God keep you. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.